if I can just quickly yes, yes. reference the yes. portions of the statement I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So this is the lands minister himself mm -hmm. uh, saying that by a letter dated 27 June 2017, mm -hmm. the office of the president directed the lands commission to withdraw the lease executed in favor of Frames Oil Company Limited together with 23 other leases. So subsequently, on 22nd September 2017, mm -hmm. the then Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Honorable John Peter Mewu, constituted a committee to investigate issues pertaining to the acquiry redevelopment scheme. Mm -hmm. Following the submission of the committee's report, the then Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, by a letter dated 28 December 2017, directed that the lease granted to France Oil Company Limited in the year 2015, together with seven other leases, that had been cancelled, pursuant to the directive of the Office of the President, be restored and the lease was accordingly restored. On 28 August 2020, Frames Oil Company Limited petitioned the Office of the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice on its inability to have vacant possession of the land over which the lease had been granted due to the continuous occupation of the land by some superior court judges. On 28 January 2023, Frames Oil Company Limited wrote to the judicial service to vacate the premises and deliver vacant possession to the company. All these things are happening under your watch. You had cancelled whatever Neosa had done. Why didn't you leave it cancelled? So that lease was cancelled. It was cancelled. And, and later restored. Later restored. Okay. And then you actively uh, aided yeah. Frames Oil and the others to go and demolish the judges' bungalows. Now you are desperately seeking equalization. I mean, how can we develop a country that I see. <laughs> On this uh, 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 parks and gardens matter, the, he is saying that aside from these preventive measures that he had indicated were put in place, pursuant to Section 236 of the Land Act 2020, Act 1036, and I'm going to read portions of it, enjoins the state to take steps to recover encroached public lands. The Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources constituted a public lands protection team to work with the Lands Commission to protect public lands from encroachment and recover those that have already been encroached. In reference to this one, this Parks and Gardens one, just on this switchback road. And then the team, he says, in collaboration with the Lands Commission and Ghana Police, has undertaken a number of operations to recover and encroach public lands. So what's happening with this Parks and Gardens one? So the Parks and Gardens state capture, which I put out, is in two parts. You recall there's the cantonments part, mm -hmm. And then there's the WA wow. yes. edition. Let's start with cantonments. So I got a tip off that some private developer has gone to place two containers on the land belonging to parks and gardens. And then the staff and the management of the Department of Parks and Gardens in cantonments are being told to prepare to move out and that the land has been sold to them. In the national interest, I blew the alarm. Mm -hmm. And pursuant to my constitutional mandate of being a member of parliament and being enjoyed to make sure that I use cons the, the constitutional processes in parliament to seek redress, I filed an urgent question. Often you hear people say that, oh, the Honorable Kujetua Blackwa likes a lot of media trials, a lot of social media trials. It is not true. Every single matter that I have raised in the media or social media, check the hands of parliament. I have raised those matters in parliament and I have always sought due process mm -hmm. and pursued due process vigorously. Because, I mean, you, that is why the people have voted for you, to mm -hmm. go to parliament and use parliament as the appropriate platform to deal with these issues. Right. So, on the, I have the hands up here. On the 4th of July, 2024, mm -hmm. I filed this urgent question, which the local government minister came to respond to. Remember that the local government minister is... The minister, the supervising minister in charge of the Department of Parks and Gardens. Yes. So the speaker rightfully determined that he must answer this question because these are lands under his purview, under his, his watch. Mm -hmm. Column 19 
of the hazard of 4th July 2024. This is the minister's response to my question. Let me just read my question quickly. Samuel Okuja to Ablakwa. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I beg to ask the Honorable Minister for Local Government Decentralization and Rural Development what the ministry is doing to protect lands belonging to the Department of Parks and Gardens in Accra and other parts of Ghana. Mr. Speaker, this is because of recent claims by some private developers of having secured title to the Department of Parks and Gardens lands, particularly within the cantonments area. So the minister responds, in the particular case of the Department of Parks and Gardens land in cantonments, mm -hmm. the recent claimant of the portion of the land indicated that he acquired a title to the land in contention, but could not produce same after he took the matter to court. The court subsequently dismissed the case and requested the plaintiff to re-enter the case with proper documentation. Mr. Speaker, our checks, however, revealed that the claimant did not have any valid documentation to the land. I wish to state that the land in question has a valid certificate of allocation dated 2nd October 1952 to the Department of Parks and Gardens. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker, the Land Use and Spatial Planning Authority, LUSPA, had in 2022 cautioned the general public to stay away from the use of the land for any private development purposes. Pursuant to the Land Use and Spatial Planning Act 2016 and its regulations, as well as the Local Governance Act, the usage of green belts, gardens, and parks cannot be altered except through Parliament. In this regard, the Ministry is working closely with LUSPA to ensure that all the developers and citizenry adhere to the planning and development permitting processes under the purview of the Metropolitan Municipal and District Assemblies." Unquote. So, how can we have a situation where two ministers, same cabinet, saying different things? The local government minister is telling us that that land has not been sold. Yes. There is no documentation. Mm -hmm. They went to court those encroachers, those hoodlums, miscreants, who don't wish this country well, could not produce any documentation. Their case has been dismissed. Indeed, the local government minister, a day after answering this question, mm -hmm. went to the place and removed the containers. I went there to inspect, and as must be objectively done, I issued a public statement commending the local government minister, mm -hmm. the Honorable A.J. Mensah Kosa, that I am impressed with his patriotism, his diligence to these matters, how he has stood on the side of Ghana, now you have the lands minister telling us that, oh, the thing has been sold. It was sold by the previous government. The, 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 the claimants have title. Two ministers telling us two different things. And you see, this lands ministry mm, and the lands commission, they ought to be careful. There are so many other instances I'll be coming to where, take for example, the interior minister who is on the side of the prison service protecting Boster Institute lands. And then the Lands Commission is in court. I'll show you their court documents. Mm, yeah, yeah, we, we, Actually frustrating the prison service and the interior ministry and saying that the land belongs to Professor Apiedu, the senior advisor to Dr. Baumia. They should allow him to have, have possession of the land. And there are so many instances. Look. The lands minister should tell us on whose side he's on. Who is he working for? So, is he working for, the, for Ghana? Mm? So, uh, or so, he's working for so-called faceless private developers? So this, the, the, the claimants to these lands have no... Have no title. Mm. No title. And the, the local government minister has proceeded to remove their, their, their uh, containers. He has actually dismantled the containers, slashed it, cut it into pieces. So are you going to and now I demand, have commended the local government minister. Are you now going to demand of the lands minister to show yes, the contrary definitely. details and the position? Definitely. I have already filed that urgent question. I see. He should come to parliament okay. and, sh and show us the evidence. Do you right. know that I have also subsequently discovered that the people who the minister quotes in his press conference to be the first group of people who were given that land were into me. Mm -hmm. They are saying that they haven't paid for anything. They haven't paid any amount of money to, to anybody. So when they heard their name and this claim that they have assigned, they, they bought it first and then they have reassigned the lease to one Danny Ike.
they don't know what all of this is about. The, because companies said they don't know. Yes, because the you, process was not finalized when they initially uh, showed interest. Because this whole matter started when uh, the then local government ministry in 2012 went around on an inspection and mm -hmm. saw that they were losing a lot of the parks and gardens lands. Mm -hmm. So the deputy minister, Honorable Evisi Free Ankara, received a proposal from the parks and gardens people that, look, we have a lot of land. At the time, they had a lot of land around the Achimota mm -hmm. media area, hundreds of acres, which had been encroached. They were losing. So they sent a proposal that, will you allow us to sell a portion, sell some portions, because you, you clearly can't protect, you can't give us budgetary allocation to fence these, no. these lands and then protect them. Right. So instead of just sitting aloof and losing the land, mm -hmm. why don't you allow us to sell a little portion to raise funds to then construct, the construct a fence and all of that? Mm -hmm. And the minister forwarded that response, even sought the attorney general's view on the matter, whether this is legal and all of that. That process was not finalized. Nobody paid any amount of money. And the NDC left office. So where from this claim? And that is why you see the contradictions. I see. Now let's come to parks and gardens. So the Wah, Wah, uh, Wah, parks and gardens uh, in Wah. There's a, you said there's a letter from the Wana. Yes. Yes. On this matter. On another matter. The <laughs> notorious see. Upper West Regional Lands Commission. Very notorious. And you know why I'm calling them notorious. Why is that? For three good years. Fresh intercepted documents now reveal that for three good years, the parks and gardens people have been petitioning the Lands Commission, particularly the Upper West Regional Lands Commission, about this encroacher who has just invaded their land, the only parks and gardens land in the Upper West region. I mean, how can we develop? How can we survive as a people? without green belts, without forests, without carbon sinks. We are virtually committing suicide. So let me read the letters to you. 1st October 2021, the acting regional landscape designer by name Washiu Mejida wrote this petition to the regional lands officer. Dear sir, request for your intervention on an ongoing encroachment on our land Parks and gardens. I write to report to you on an ongoing encroachment exercise on our main nursery land, parks and gardens, along the Kambali Road by an unknown developer. As a custodian of government lands, we will be very grateful if you could intervene on the matter on our behalf. Mm -hmm. The developer is currently at the site filling the land with gravel without any verbal or written notification. Mm -hmm. They attach are allocation certificates and other documents indicating the land is allocated to the Department of Parks and Gardens, counting on your cooperation. They attach everything. No response. That was 1st October. 19th November 2021, they write again. Encroachment of department's land. Why? The department has been notified of a private developer who has deposited and continued to deposit large quantities of laterite soil Mm -hmm. On a portion of the department operational site, operational site at Wa, mm -hmm. which is intended for construction. The Department of Parks and Gardens with decentralized regional and district offices across the country is mandated to provide for the establishment, management, layout, planting, improvement, maintenance, and regulation of parks and gardens and other places of public resort or recreation for the use of the public and to contribute to the cost of maintenance of parks, gardens, and other places of public resort or recreation provided by any person for the use of the public. I see. The department has the certificate of allocation and cadastral plan to the said land. It has also operated on the land for 45 years in the production and promotion of horticulture for the Ghanaian citizen. In reference to the above, I humbly request your assistance in putting an immediate stop to this agenda by the private developer and for the protection of the land. I therefore submit herewith Documents to the Y Regional Office and pictures for your information action. I see. And will you believe that when the regional minister decided to intervene this year, the Lands Commission then wrote to the regional minister to back off. Now, this matter 
formed the basis for an urgent question in Parliament, which I filed. Listen to what the local government minister said. And for the record, mm -hmm. for the avoidance of all doubt, this Parks and Gardens land was sold in 2020. The war one. Illegally sold in 2020. When we talk about state capture going on under President Kufa, yes. the war one. 2020. So that the war Parks and Gardens land has already been sold? Yes, according to the lands minister. 20? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it 2019 well, or 2020? Let's clarify. It's, it, well, it's from the records I have here, 2020. But it's an illegal sale, so... And, and, I'll, and I'll be explaining why. You know. So let's listen to the local government minister. The local government minister says, Mr. Corsa, speaking, I did indicate earlier that the land in contention is covered by a certificate of allocation dated 27 November 1975 to the state. On the basis of this, we reject the claim by the Regional Lands Commission. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, we are not aware as a ministry of any decision by the state to relinquish its interest in the land. If that were to be the case, it should have been before this house. On the basis of that, we still believe that the land still holds as a property of government, the Department of Parks and Gardens for that matter, and we intend to reclaim it for the state. Can you believe that? Same so, government. The local so, government minister says that, look, no, so, so it's still for case. us. We haven't, it's, it's, we haven't relinquished our interest as a country. But the lands so, minister is holding press conferences. And you know what so, has happened now? This private developer, based on the press conferences of the lands minister, has gone to court to injunct the local government minister from stopping the construction of the fuel filling station. <laughs> Can you so, believe that? Now, so, under this act, hmm, under the Land Use and Spatial Planning Act 2016, Act 925, if you acquire land for specific public use, and it has been zoned as such, as parks and gardens. And you want to engage in rezoning to use it for something else. In this case, a fuel filling station. You must come to parliament for approval. That is what the law says. They have not done that. But the developer is going on with the work. But the developer is going on. Okay. Can you believe so... that? <laughs> Can you believe that? And, and, and this, this why, so I, this... why I say that this... Upper West Parks and Gardens, look, they ought to be called to order. No, but the letters you, re you read, yeah. these were letters they were then writing specifically yes, asking yes. for. Asking for an intervention. Intervention. For more than three years. And, and for now more than three the, years. the local government minister has a position on this land. That yes, this land is this still land for Ghana. It's still for Ghana. But then it has there's not a been contrary sold. position that the land has been sold. Yes. And there's a developer already on the land. Yes, and it's a clear conspiracy. Clear conspiracy. Very clear conspiracy. I have here the letter they wrote to the, when the regional minister was moving in to stop the demolition. Will you believe that the acting regional lands officer by name Achampon Wilfred wrote this letter to the honorable regional minister and chair of the regional coordinating council? I wish to inform you that per the records of the lands commission, the developer has a valid land title document, deed of lease covering the portion developed into a fuel filling station and must be noted as such. Can you believe that? 8 March 2024. Telling the regional minister to just better back off. I mean, what is happening in this country? The lawlessness. Hmm. Meanwhile, our Land Use and Spatial Planning Act 2016, it is very, very clear if you read the provisions on rezoning, application for change of use or request for rezoning, it is very, very, very clear that you need to make sure that you have parliamentary approval before the site can be rezoned. It's here. Which, which specific provision are you reading? Section 93. Section 93? Yes, okay. Section 93 4. All right. So it says, without limiting subsection 3, and such as it three says, a district special planning committee shall not grant a request for change of the existing zoning or land use unless the request is intended to make the zoning the land of the land comply with a structure plan or zoning scheme or local plan. Four, without limiting such three, the change of use or rezoning mm -hmm. of a public space shall be subjected to approval by parliament. 
This has not been done. That is why I call that sale illegal. And that is why the local government minister is not recognizing this sale. However, this marauding private developer, who are always people fronting for top politicians, that is why we are sponsoring the Protection of Public Assets Bill to stop politicians and political exposed persons from buying state assets. Now, here we have this Act 925 has been mm -hmm. violently and flagrantly violated. Mm -hmm. And yet you have the lands minister holding mm -hmm. press conference saying that, oh, it has been sold and it has been rezoned. Who gave Ooh. them the authority to rezone? Are they parliament? Hmm. We, we need to round up on this matter, and, and, and I'm going to leave because and, there are some... I, I was yes. going to read to you the one S, uh, uh, the, the, the one -S letter. letter, and actually copy to the media in the Upper West region. It's to the regional director, Lands Commission, and it's on the, 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 the one -S letterhead, the Palace of the Overlord, WANA, dated April 5, 2024. Ban on lease on land, lying and situated at Tembdamban, Napogba Koli residential area of Wa. They should forgive me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. It's been a while since I enjoyed TZ, so Indeed. I guess uh, that's the challenge. <laughs> Our attention has been drawn to the fact that there are plans by your office to lease the said piece of land to individual developers. For the avoidance of doubt, I'm referring to the Wa Tendamba Primary School land. The area under reference was acquired by the government of Ghana for educational purpose. The reason for its acquisition has not changed, and as such, it cannot be rezoned and leased to private individuals. You are therefore, by this letter, directed to cease forthwith the process of preparing leases on the land under reference to individuals. The general public is also hereby warned against making any such moves to acquire either for their personal interest or any other persons or entities, any portions of the lands belonging to the Tindamba Primary School or any other educational institutions within the Wala State traditional area. Anyone who does anything to the contrary after this press release does so at their own peril. Thank you, signed Nafuseni Seidu Pelpo the Fourth, Wana Overlord, Wala State, and President. Wala Traditional Council, and it's copied to the Chairman Lands Commission, Wa, and the Lands Commission in, in, in Accra. I see. I mean, what, what, what is going on? <laughs> Where now chiefs have to issue public notices.